Okay, so we look at Monster Hunter World at 21 by 9. They had six months to make this version perfect, to focus only on PC, and yet they still managed to fall short. This is only an okay PC title, with a lot left to be desired. Let's hope for a good bit of patching soon. I'm not going to give my thoughts on the gameplay this time around, as the game has been out for a long time now, so let's just have a look at the 21x9 support. So there is no native ultra-wide support. Everything is just black barred 16x9 content. Lovely. That said, don't fret, because the 21x9 fix from modders is already in the works. You can even see a bit of gameplay linked in the description below from Fluffy Quack if you wish. The issue is that it's still extremely broken with a ton of bugs and the like, but it's still damned impressive for a few days of work. So yes, whilst you can't play it at 21x9 immediately, support is coming from hardworking modders. Make sure to check the description for an updated video, as I'll link to it there when the ultra-wide support changes. General PC support wise, it is better than the ultra wide support, but not perfect. So there are a good selection of graphics options with an unlocked frame rate, I really expected it to be locked at 60, and all graphics options can be tweaked without a restart, which is lovely. That said, anti-aliasing options are only FXAA and TAA, which is frustrating, put at least some form of MSAA in. Also, there is no way to turn off motion blur, which, whilst it doesn't really bother me, will annoy some players. A big issue though is the mouse and keyboard support. Whilst the controller works perfectly, the mouse has no option to use a raw input, so you have this flowy, not highly accurate movement to mouse input, which was enough to make sure I didn't play for more than a minute or two without going right to my controller. At least you can rebind every mouse and keyboard input to two different keys, which is great, so if a raw input fix does come, or is modded in, or simply doesn't bother you, then you're in luck. There is surround sound support, which is great, and on the whole, there are a solid number of settings to customise the experience to what you like, things like HUD removal options. Performance-wise, it's not a very easy game to run. It is lovely to look at, but I can't help but feel at times it's a little overly demanding. But yeah, on a GTX 1080 Ti at, well, 2560 by 1440 I could stay in the low 60s to 70s and 95% of the time on highest everything settings with TAA on. After a few hours of playing though, I did experience quite a number of FPS hitches, something I'd like looked at, but on the whole I can't complain about the optimization. it's not horrible at all. It's just such a disappointment that they failed to support ultra-wide resolutions. The thing is, I really remember them saying that they were going to support 21x9 as part of their claims for making the PC version great in the 6 months delay, however, a quick google hasn't returned any results, so let me know in the comments if I'm making that up in my head or not. If they did say it, then yeah, screw that, no way. Way I'd ever recommend supporting them with a purchase. That said, if they didn't claim its support, then still don't buy it yet, but wait until we have some solid 21 by 9 support, either natively or through modding. Hopefully developers will start to see the correlation between successful 21 by 9 mods and increased sales even when they don't natively support ultra-wide resolutions, and maybe it will incentivize them to support us natively in the future. Anyway, I hope that gives you some information on the game runs of 21 by 9 I'll obviously update this video in the future when the 21 by 9 mod is finished, or if anything else changes in the ultra-wide scene, so check the description for any updates. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel, the WAF website, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description, and the Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.